Let's create a biped in ZBrush using Z-Spheres. From our starting point, we're going to click on the Tool button in the Tool panel. And for our quick pick, we're going to choose Z-Spheres. And we'll draw one out on the stage. And then we'll enter Edit Mode. You can press the T button on your keyboard or just click the Edit Mode button. Now for a biped, it's probably a good idea to turn Symmetry on. So I'll click the X key on my keyboard to get the symmetry going. And now it's time to start drawing. If you hold down Shift, the Z-Sphere sa stays the same size as before. And if you hold down Control, you can move the Z-Sphere straight up. So I'm going to use that technique to create my torso. And then I'm going to use a smaller Z-Sphere for the neck and pull it up. I'll make my neck. And then I'll draw another one with Shift. Draw another one with shift and control to get my neck size, and then draw another one to get the head. Now you can see these new points where you can start Z spheres from too. They're slightly discolored Z spheres. So now I can draw some arms. I'm going to, oh, that's a little too big. Draw some arms. Out from there, and draw some other arms. I'll zoom out just a little bit, and go down and do the same thing for the legs. Draw legs out, legs down, and finally the bottom of the legs. Now things will be off at first. But of course, you can use your Move, Scale, and Rotate tools as needed. So I can move the hips back into place. Also scale it as needed. Scale the arms down a little bit and then we can move them out once again. And we'll just keep making fine adjustments until we get everything looking like we want it. And when it's time to check out your mesh, just Click the A button on the keyboard and see where the mesh is. Obviously, I have some problems here. I'll probably want to go back and fix them. Just hit A again to go back and fix them. You can delete. It's easy for us too. by just holding down Alt in the draw mode. Once again, those hips are still trying being a little problematic. So I'd keep going until I found a nice solution in there. We're fixing it now. And then when you're ready, click Make Poly Mesh 3D and then you can treat it like any other object in ZBrush. Smooth it up and go sculpting from there.